Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Strat Gamer here, providing you with a totally brand new series today. We're looking at Transport Fever 2. Why now? Well, there's three reasons. The first one is it is actually currently 50% off on Steam, or at least on in my geography. Uh, from you know, it was from Monday to Friday the um, 17th. So don't hesitate to check that out. Um, if you don't have the game, you know, 50% is quite nice for, for such a great game. The second reason is, while this game is actually two years old, so similar to uh, Anno 1800, where, you know, I'm spending a lot of time, it is still, you know, great graphics, great gameplay, gameplay and still getting free updates. Um, just less than two months ago, there was the summer update uh, with quite a lot of, of things and the developers said they are working already on the next one so it you know this hasn't been um, sort of forgotten or le left on the side this is still being uh, improved and then the third reason is while the, the base game already has a lot from campaign to free game and map editors it is also linked to the steam workshop for mods um, so with that you know you know that the game will continue to great to get great new things even when the developers stop um, looking at it so those three reasons really made me jump and start we're going to quickly um, cover first the campaigns i'll post that over the next few days each um, episode of the campaign is, is a bit of a tutorial but also what's one thing i found really great is um, you go through history, you go through a lot of different regions through the campaigns. Um, so you see that that is quite quite cool. But after that, of course, we'll move a bit more into free game sandbox. Um, if you've seen some of my Anno series, what we'll probably do is have really got sort of a um, clear objective we put on ourselves. Like, I don't know, it could be one map we do, we say, um, we need to connect all cities and provide everything to everybody. Uh, and that's the goal, right? Another map could be, we say, um, we have to do everything by boat and we can't use trains or something like this. So put a, a bit of challenges on ourselves and then play with that. So um, I, you know, I hope you're excited about it. Do tell me in the comments below if uh, you already know the game, you're, you're excited to see it on my channel, or maybe you don't know the game, you think about buying it too. No, um, anything else that, that may be on your mind, it will definitely help me also to, to tailor that content uh, for all of you. Just to show you a bit some of those elements, you know, let's launch uh, just a, a random map and um, just want to show you a bit the, the breadth of the game without any modes. Once again, um, there's definitely a lot of modes that we can look at, you know, for more trucks, trains, planes. All those type of things but many many other elements like new industries and, and many other things and also i've seen a lot of custom maps um so you you see that you saw before that there was a map editor um so many people have created like just amazing maps so realistic so um can be also very close to reality right like uh, the map of of an actual region um that exists so a lot of great things we can look at there is of course given that this game is is not new there are numbers of videos um, on youtube or from other content creators but i'm hoping to have some fun here and so tell me um, if you're excited to press the like button maybe subscribe if you're a new joiner and we'll talk about this so a couple of things i wanted to show you is you know it, it's not just trucks or trains um, it's really everything. You can have huge airports like this one. Um, you can have, of course, big um, train stations like this one, but also uh, boats and, of course, your buses, trucks, and all of this. Um, this is both for cargo, but also passengers. You can see, I mean, this is just a normal map, not a big map or anything, but it is already quite, quite big. Um, the graphics are also pretty good. You know, we can go to quite a bit of uh, zoom or unzoom uh, quite quickly. Uh, the cities are dynamic cities. They will grow. Um, you know, there's 
a lot of complexity from commercial, industrial, residential, a lot of, of different things to juggle there. You can see different resources all over the map. Um, so we're going to have a lot of fun with that. The UI is, is pretty um, you know, easy to, to use. You can see here, this is your roads. This is your um, rail with the tracks, the buildings, which are quite modular. You can see you, know, you can change the length of the station, number of tracks, um, many other things like this. When even when you build one, you know, let's let's do for example uh, a truck station, so that we can put close to the twenty road and rotate it, of course. Um, and you know this building here. Of, so sorry, just to go back. I could already change right the platforms, the lengths, things like this. But even after building it, you know, if you do select it and you click on configure, then you can start also changing it. We can add more access, we can add uh, passenger and you know, more cargo platforms you know, to, to make it into a different shape. Like I can do things like this. Uh, you know, there's, there's no end <laughs> to, to your um, you know, imagination, let's say. So that you know, can bring a lot. There's definitely also complexity around each of the uh, industries, mines, farms, things like this can evolve to different levels. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, of course, the, you know, it's, it's not a flat, right? There's uh, mountains and things like this, and therefore that will need, will need to create tunnels or bridges, all those type of things. So again, th this game has a lot, but at the same time, I think it is so far it's been quite easy to to get into um so i've been really liking that and as i said we'll start with the tutorial missions so if you, you know you don't know the game uh, don't hesitate uh, to just still buy it because you can discover it with me uh with those videos um so yeah that's all about transport fever 2 for this intro episode just to tell you that about the game i'm starting um the videos should start appearing on the channel very soon. So do tell me in the comments below if you're interested, what you may be interested in too. Um, and up, I will, oh, la one last thing, sorry, I wanted to mention is for all those, the trains, uh, boats, uh, and things like this. Is it, so it, it starts in um, the 19th centuries and it goes to the 21st century. And it's the same for your vehicles where, you know, with every period, you will get new vehicles that are linked to that period, like if they really were in that period. Um, so that, that's something also really interesting is, uh, and same for your buildings. Obviously, if you start, when you start in the 1900s, they don't look like this one. So if you start, um, you know, at that period, uh, and then you, the, the time starts to move, as you can see here, you can uh, move the, the time. Um, you may still have very old stations and then an, a new one next to it. So it's, it's really um, cool to, to be able to mix that. Um, and the last thing sorry, I wanted to mention is here, I mean, this is not operational, right? There's no tracks in it or anything, so there's no body. But when you actually start connecting elements and if we're going to the city, a city um, you, can, you, can, uh, you will actually have people and those people you know, they, they live somewhere, they go to work somewhere, or they go to shop somewhere. So each sort of individual is doing something. Like they're, they're all um, individually simulated, let's say. Uh, so that's that's quite powerful. And that's what you're going to want to optimize, right? You want to optimize where, um, where you put your public transport and all those type of things. Um, so yeah, that's... Um, that's really Transport Fever 2 and why I'm quite excited about this. I hope you are too. Do I press the like button and hope to see you next time.